You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. It is SoapDirt.com, and we have got something to talk about today. And it's about a name that just came out of Megan Hathaway's mouth. And while what she said was a lie, you might not have recognized the name that she was giving up to the investigators unless you remember obscure characters from pre-2000 or unless you watch Days of Our Lives Beyond Salem Chapter 2. So today we're going to look at who is Thomas Banks. Now, you might recall this week on Days of Our Lives that Megan Hathaway is locked up in an ISA cell and she was being interrogated by Hope Brady and Steve Johnson. They are desperate to find Kayla Brady, and if you are current on the episodes, you'll know that Bo Brady snatched his sister and took off with her, and they are hiding on a goat farm where Victor Kiriakis grew up because Bo is embracing that side of himself. But Megan doesn't want anybody to know that Bo Brady is alive, least of all Hope Brady. But what Hope and Patch do know is that someone took Kayla, and so they keep grilling Megan, asking her who took Kayla, Where is Kayla? So Megan lies to them and blames it on Thomas Banks. Now, if you are scratching your head and wondering who the heck is Thomas Banks, I've got the answer for you right now. Now, the first thing to know is that he is one of four siblings that are quadruplets. There are four Banks, although one of them was not known by the name of Banks, and two of these quadruplets are dead. The first one that passed away was Penelope Kent, and she's the only one who doesn't have the name of Banks out of the quadruplets. The second one to die, and this is a more recent death, is Elvis-loving psychic Susan Banks, who, of course, you know, is the mother of Elvis Jr. Demera, a.k.a. E.J. Demera, and she died because of the actions of Ava Vitale, who was trying to get revenge on E.J., there are two of the Banks quadruplets alive still. The first one that you'll probably know from recent appearances is the good nun, Sister Mary Mora Banks. And then there's the worst of the siblings, which is Thomas Banks. He is a gangster and a hitman and a real thug. In terms of their history, their parents are unknown. What we do know is for family, in addition to the four siblings, that Thomas Banks is E.J. Demera's uncle, and he's Johnny Demera's grunkle, a.k.a. great uncle. So Thomas Banks has only ever been played by Eileen Davidson. Now, you'll know that Sister Mary Mora and Susan Banks have both recently been portrayed on Days of Our Lives by Stacey Heideck, who was a recast when Eileen Davidson didn't have time to come back. But Stacey Heideck has never played Thomas Banks. So Eileen first played the role of the brother back in 1997 and 1998. If you don't remember what he looks like, he's got this long kind of creepy comb over that's kinky and just kind of weird. He has a penchant for big flashy shades that are almost Elvis looking in a way. So maybe that's something he also has in common with Susan. And he's got those crazy Banks teeth like the other quadruplets. Then, so that was 1998. And back then, Susan Banks' son, EJ, had been kidnapped and he was just a little guy. And so Susan went to her brother, Thomas, for help. But Sister Mary Mora was really worried that Thomas Banks was going to cross lines and commit sinful acts. And so she tried to shoot down that rescue effort. And in the end, it was Stefano Demera and John Black who stole little kiddo EJ back from Kristen and gave her back to Susan. But that was way back then when EJ was little, and now he's a fully grown man. Thomas is still a gangster and a violent person. And we saw him again after a 22, 24-year gap because he was last seen in 1998. And he showed up on Days of Our Lives Beyond Salem Chapter 2, which aired in 2022. And in those scenes, it's very interesting because Thomas was up to murderous bad deeds on behalf of Megan Hathaway. So how it started out on Days of Our Lives Beyond Sale in Chapter 2 is that we saw Eileen Davidson dressed as Kristen Demera. Of course, 
Kristen was actually in Statesville prison at the time back on the Mothership main show. So we see Eileen Davidson looking gorgeous as Kristen, and she's flirting with a guy named Phil after he's won a special prize at a big poker tournament. Things get heated up, and there are sparks between them at the bar, and she wants to head back to the hotel room for some sexy time with him. What really surprises Phil is when she strips off, he sees a hairy chest and fake boobs. And that's because it is not Kristen at all. It is Thomas Banks. And Thomas murders Phil. And what's really interesting about this is that Phil was played by Eileen Davidson's real-life husband, Vince Van Patten. So he got his little introduction with a brief life and death on the Days of Our Lives spinoff show. So Thomas taps two bullets into Phil's chest and kills him and grabs up the prism that Phil had won, and he delivered it to Megan Hathaway. If you watched Chapter 2 of Beyond Salem, you might know that Megan Hathaway was looking for three prisms, which she had been told by her father, Stefano, would make a miraculous cure-all that would cure almost any conditions. And some people thought when the series aired that she was going to try to bring back her dad, Stefano. But in fact, what we found out was that she had Bo Brady and has had him since his death when he died of complications of a brain aneurysm, brain tumor, something in his brain. So she has kept him on cold storage. And on Beyond Salem Chapter 2, Thomas Banks delivered the prism to her and he was richly paid. And that's the last time we saw him. But now, back over on the main show of Days of Our Lives, Megan told Hope and Patch that it was Thomas Banks that took Kayla and hauled her away and that she has no idea where they are. She talked a lot about Thomas being disloyal to her and that she valued loyalty over everything, but Thomas went rogue. Hope noticed that Megan seemed very torn up about the idea of a gangster or pet assassin betraying her, and she seemed really hard hit. And the reason is, is because although Megan said the name Thomas Banks, who she was talking about being disloyal was Bo Brady. So she was describing the situation with Bo, how Bo betrayed her, how he literally owed her his life, which is true, and that he ran off with Kayla. The only thing she really lied about was the name, that it was Thomas Banks. So it's not clear if we're going to see Thomas Banks also on Days of Our Lives, because if the ISA is now chasing him looking for Kayla, maybe we will get another look at Thomas Banks. If we do, the big question is, will it be Eileen Davidson back in the role? Because she only came back for Beyond Salem Chapter 2, because she's very busy as Ashley Abbott on Young and the Restless. So another option they have if Eileen can't come back is to use Stacey Heiduck to play Thomas Banks, as she has interchangeably stepped into the role of some of the other Banks quadruplets over the years since she came onto the Peacock slash NBC soap. So if you're wondering who Thomas Banks is, now you know. Be sure to come back to SoapDirt.com for all the latest articles on Days of Our Lives spoilers and news. Check out our podcast on all streaming platforms, including Spotify, and check our YouTube channel often for tons more Days of Our Lives videos. Thanks for listening. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.